Exercise 3e. It is again about factorization. Type 2 and type 3. Type 2 means identity number 1 and identity number 2. And type 3 means identity number 3. According to identity 1, a plus b whole square equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square. And a minus b whole square equals to a square minus 2ab plus b square. And in type 3, the identity is a square minus b square equals to a plus b into a minus b. So here, with the help of first two identities, I'm explaining question number one. Again, the question is factorize x square plus 8x plus 16. So first of all, you will see the first term and the last term. These terms are the perfect squares. x square is perfect square. 16 is also a perfect square. It can be written in this form, 4 whole square. So x whole square plus 2 into according to identity. According to identity, this term is a, this term is b. So a square plus 2ab plus b square. So you can write the above equation in this form also. And then in the last step, you can write the above expression in this form x plus 4 whole square. I'm applying here identity number 1 a plus b whole square equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square. So here we have a which is x and here we have b which is 4. So you can write x plus 4 whole square. Question number 2. Again the question is factorized. 49y square minus 42yz plus 9z square. Now here, first of all, you will see the first term and the last term are the perfect squares. But in the midterm, we have the negative sign. It means you can factorize this expression with second identity, which is a minus b whole square equals 2 a square minus 2ab plus b square. So here, in the first perfect square form, you can write in this form also. 49y square can be written in this form also, 7y whole square. And 9z square can be written in this form also, 3z whole square. So according to formula, a square minus 2ab plus b square. Here, a is 7y. So in the midterm also, you will write 2 into value of a is 7y and value of b is 3z. So in the last step, again you can write in this form a minus b whole square. a is 7y and b is 3z. So you can write the above expression as 7y minus 3z whole square. So here in these two questions, uh, we are using identity number 1 and identity number 2 and you can easily factorize it. Now type 3. Type 3 means we are applying here identity number 3 which is a square minus b square equals to a plus b into a minus b. So first of all in the question, in all type of question you will see is there a number which is common. So you can see here 3 is common because 3 is in the first term, 3 is also the factor of the second term. So 3 you are taking outside the bracket and inside the bracket you will write x square and then 147 divided by 3, your quotient is 49. So inside the bracket you will write 49 only. 
and then in the next step you can write x square as x whole square and 49 as 7 whole squares and then according to our identity number 3 you can write x square minus 7 square as x minus 7 and x plus 7 because according to identity number 3 a square minus b square equals to a minus b into a plus b here a is x and b is 7 so you can write x minus 7 and x plus 7 now question number 5 evaluate by factorization Fifty nine whole square minus forty one square. Again, you can see here the first and the last term are the perfect squares, and we have only two terms with negative sign in the center. So, this is identity number three. According to identity number three, you will write in this way fifty nine minus forty one into fifty nine plus forty one. 59 minus 41 equals to 18 and 59 plus 41 equals to 100. When you will multiply these two terms, you will get 1800. So this whole exercise you can easily solve by using three identities. And now in the next lecture, I will explain the next exercise which is 3F.